Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Thanks for tuning in to another episode here. My name is Dominic and I'm the host of the Android Factory. In the last episode we went ahead and introduced an episodes UI model here, which is a sealed class that has two items in it, uh, namely an item and a header. And this is so that we can work with the paging three library inside of our paging data epoxy controller to go ahead and build out a specific UI that has both headers and items within it. So if you've missed it, I'd go ahead and check out the card in the top right. It, it'll get you caught up to speed and then this will make more sense. So we left off the last episode with needing to implement the insert separators function here. And uh, in order to do this, I think we need to update our episode model a little bit because the issue is currently this string episode is something that looks like this where it has season 01, episode 01. And while that works and is good for maybe simple display and stuff like that, we might need to extract out the actual season and episode number inside of our domain model so that we can go ahead and you know actually perform some checks and some evaluations that we need to do. So in order to do so, we have our episode mapper that goes ahead and builds the uh, domain model from the network model here. And simply in the network model, we just have a string that represents episode, as we saw in that uh, in the documentation here. But instead, we're gonna have to break this out into two different fields here. So inside of our mapper, again, if you've been following the channel or the series at least, this is one more reason why having a mapper class is just extremely important because the network model here defines an episode as this string that isn't really the best for our use case anymore. So now we can go ahead and mold this network model into the particular domain model that we want so that it can function a little bit better. So anyway, um, we're gonna create a function here that says get So just created two functions here, get season and get episode from episode string. They both are gonna return an int here and we can just do some simple um, math or, or some simple string manipulation here. So let's say our end index is going to be episode uh, dot index of first where it equals, let's go with E and then we're gonna pass in true Sorry, it's gotta be another character, E, and we'll pass in true to ignore case here in case the API changes a little bit. And then otherwise we're just going to return the episode dot substring from one to our end index. Uh, sorry, dot two int. Let's do two int or null, and then we'll do an Elvis operator and just go with zero here for season. So we are handling it a little bit nicely. I think there's one possible uh, answer here, or one possible issue that says if end index equals negative one, then we're just gonna return zero. And this will be negative one if we cannot find anything here based on this predicate. So if for instance, there is not an E inside of our string that's passed in here. Uh, so we're just gonna copy this, pretty closely here. We're just gonna manipulate it here. So instead of n index, this is going to be the start index. And then we're just going to substring from our start index plus one. And if our start index equals negative one, we'll be returned zero. And then otherwise we do our two enter null and whatnot. So that, uh, that should do it. Then otherwise here, we're gonna to have to modify our model. So let's go with val season. This is going to be an int defined to zero and we'll say val episode. This is also going to be an int. Uh, maybe we'll go with episode number and we'll just be a little bit more descriptive here and season number only because again, we would have episode dot episode and that's a little weird. So anyway, uh, we can flip back to our mapper. This is obviously going to freak out now and we can say here, season equals get season from this on our network episode dot episode. Just gonna copy that and then our episode number is going to be get 
episode. So there we are. We uh, I'm gonna go ahead and run this because there might be a few places that was using the previous uh, episode information, and we no longer have that. So and while that's running here, we're just gonna go ahead and create a function that's going to define. And so this function here is just going to return a string of formatted uh, goodness here so that we can basically have a human readable version of the variable season and episode number. So we can just say something like season. And then maybe we can also do episode number, so something like that. So now we have these two helper functions that are gonna help us for display here and the run helped exactly with what we needed. Um, episode carousel, I don't know. Uh, so I think this will be the truncated. And then here we also reference that inside of our list item, which will be also the truncated version. Okay. And that should be it now. As far as all of the issues around episode, if we go ahead and run this stuff again, we will get our new little truncated version here that just has s dot e dot. And uh, more importantly, we have these values as integers now, which we can make use of inside of our uh, view model here, inside of the insert separators. Now we can actually compare these two models a lot easier here. Emulator seems to be quite slow here, but if we go ahead and click on our all episodes and we fetch the episodes, yep, so now we can see our different format here of season one, episode four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, etc. Um, so we lost a little bit of formatting as far as 01 and, and that kind of stuff, but we can obviously fix that up if we need to. But instead, let's go ahead and implement our insert separators to see how this actually is going to work. So at the moment, we're not going to be handling uh, anything before or after the list here. So if our model equals null or if our model 2 equals null, we're just going to return uh, null for our little function here. And then otherwise we have to make this little check here to see if these are in the same episode or not. So if we're going to say, I don't know if this is necessary here, but we're going to just make sure that we, if we are looking at a header that we don't do anything with it, um, and then otherwise we're going to take a look at our uh, model. Well, let's cast these a little bit. So we'll say episode one equals our model as episodes UI model as item dot episode. Then we will just do the exact same thing, except we'll call this episode two from model two. And then if our episode two dot season number does not equal the episode one season number then we're going to go ahead and add in the episode ui model dot header with the text saying season episode two dot season number and then otherwise we will just return null here, meaning that there is no separator. So we have a little bit of uh, casting here to make sure that we're looking at the correct episodes or the correct information. And then we are just doing a simple check here to make sure that they are equivalent. And if not, we will add a separator between them. All right, and we are inside our, oh, our episode fragment here. And we actually do have a season three separator. Did I see a season two? Yeah, there's a season two separator. So there is a little bit of a separation happening so far, except we don't have one at the top of the list, but we do have it there. It is working. Wonderful. And the logic is correct. So it does correctly place it in between the last episode of season three and the next episode of the next one. Definitely a little tough to see, <laughs> but, um, yeah, we don't, we don't need one at the end. However, we do need one at the start here. So I think we can very easily just say if our model equals null, 
we're going to return at item separator here this guy and we're just going to say season one and then we don't need to do this okay so let's give this a run and let's see if this works here emulator is running quite slowly here i don't know what the issue is but we should be nearing the end of the episode so we shall see and yeah look at that we have a season one here up top and then as we scroll i'm sure we'll get a season two again in the correct spot and we should probably be safe to assume that it'll just continue working which is just wonderful so we have successfully added headers in um, it doesn't look like it's too bad there is just a little bit of you know conditional logic here that we need to step through uh, i've gone ahead and added comments in so if you pull the code down you should be able to read this without a problem i do wonder though how this is going to work with um, if our network call fails, you know, if we just straight up don't have a network and we just fail to get one and we return an error, but then we try to insert a separator, I wonder if, especially this one, I wonder if it'll just continue to add or it will at least add a um, header item to it and then there would be the error underneath it. Um, or if maybe the library is smart enough to not invoke the insert separators when there is not a legitimate page or, or data. Uh, I'm going to hope that that's the, that that's the case, but um, you know we could find that out on our own here. But otherwise, it is pretty straightforward. We not only covered how to add separators in paging three, but we also made use of a new, you know, or modifying our domain layer and then understanding you know a bit more why these builder or these uh, mapper classes are just so powerful, really allowing us to transform any, network model into the domain model that we need for our for our reason, for our fit. Um, and even at the end of the day, you know, it has this episode string, we could very easily, you know, continue to have that episode string on our domain model. We could even move these functions here onto the domain model instead of having different attributes or values here on the data class. Um, I like doing it this way because it's computed once and only once. Um, so if you continuously ask for season number, it's not going to be running this code every single time. But, um, you know, point being, there's a lot of options here. The mapper gives you a tremendous amount of flexibility and is, uh, is most definitely something that you should be looking into if you are taking in network requests and, and building a UI from that data. So I think that'll about do it here for, uh, for me for this episode. Where are we here? Yep, the insert separators. So if you made it this far, I'd really appreciate a like on the video. It'll help me out. And if you've learned a thing or two, it'll just, you know, give me a thumbs up that we are just moving in the right direction. So I really appreciate that. If you do notice that you are not subscribed, please do consider subscribing so that you don't miss out. Plan on continuing to build out this application. Um, I think next we're going to dive into maybe searching uh, characters and episodes. There's another API for that so we can get a little bit deeper into networking and a little bit better into uh, or a little bit more into the whole search functionality which is a really popular thing inside of applications and if I haven't mentioned it already or if you've missed it uh, I do have plans to actually publish this application on the Google Play Store so we will of course make videos on how to publish the your application going through the process everything you need there from setting up your developer account to pushing uh, you know pushing your first build out and then how to even update your application uh, you know, over time as you come out with new builds and whatnot. So stick around if you are interested in that. There is plenty more to come around the Rick and Morty application that we've been building out here. And the newest season of this series uh, actually just started not that long ago. So if you're a fan of the show, um, it's, I guess, good to see season five out and about. But anyway, thanks again for watching, guys. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll catch you in the next one.